Hi there, thank you for stopping by. My name is Vikash Srivastava. I am the principal product specialist here at Zscaler. Today we are going to take a look at the step-by-step -step process of integrating your ZDX deployment with ServiceNow. This integration will help you improve the efficiency of your operations and service test teams by enabling them to quickly identify and resolve issues before they impact your end users, bringing down the mean time to resolution. The overall steps are broken down into three main sections. On the ZDX side, we will first go ahead and create a ZDX role and a user, which will later be used on the ServiceNow side for integration. Second, on the ServiceNow side, we will install the Zscaler Digital Experience app, create a service user on the Snow side, assign a deep tracing role to a service desk user, which will enable them to launch deep tracing sessions from within ServiceNow and then configure the ServiceNow app settings. And finally, on the ZDX side, we will create a webhook and tie that into an existing alert rule or a new alert rule for that matter. All right, so let's get started. On the admin page, click on role management. Click on add ZDX role. We name it ZDX snow roll. We set the dashboard access to view only, device and user info to visible, UCAS monitoring to view only, admin management to none, remote assistance to none, deep tracing set as full, alert set to full, webhook full and client connector portal to none and hit save. Now go to admin management and click administrator management, add ZDX admin. We name it ZDX snow user. Set the email address and the name field. Assign it the role which we previously created, ZDX Snow Role. Set the password. Hit save and activate your changes. Next, we install the ZDX app from the ServiceNow Marketplace. Search for applications, all available applications. Click all. Search for Zscaler and look for the Zscaler Digital Experience app. So it's down there, click on install, install. And that will begin the process of installing this app. And that finishes this step. Next, create the service user, Snow ZDX service user. So we name it Snow ZDX service user. We set the name, set the password, and then we'll set it to web service access only. Hit submit. Find that user again, and we will assign a role to it. So we look for that user, click on the user, scroll down, click on edit under roles, Look for X underscore ZSCA. And assign the ZDX management role. Hit save. After that, we assign a service desk user the deep tracing role to enable them to launch deep tracing sessions from within ServiceNow. In this example, we're just using the logged in admin user. The username is admin, scroll down, Click on edit, look for X underscore ZSCA and select the DT underscore management role. Hit save. Next, we will configure the ZDX service now app where the step by step process is also listed for your reference. So click on setup and you have 
all of the process, the steps which you're going through right now documented here. You can mark them complete as you go through each of them. Now click on settings. This is grayed out right now. So on the top, click on edit. And we start by putting in the caller name field, snow ZDX service user. Set the logging level for debugging purposes. Set the priority level for which the tickets will be created, the priority level and higher. Set the auto resolution to none and then enter the ZDX admin portal URL here. Enter the login username which we had created before and set the password. Hit save. Next, we configure a webhook and trigger a test alert. So click add new webhook, give it a name, ZDX snow webhook for this example. The URL, this would be the service now URL, follows a standard template. Provide the username and password here and hit test webhook. So the webhook notification is sent out. Now let's go into service now and see if the incident was created. So click on incidents and yes, we have uh, the incident created. And as a final step, we go to one of our existing alert rules and set the service now as the destination. So we click on one of the existing alert rules here, click on edit, hit next, and go all the way down till the actions settings. And under alert delivery, select webhook. And under webhook, select the ZDX snow webhook, which we created. Hit close. Next, submit. And don't forget to activate the changes.